It's time for another run haul. Okay, so here's my plan. Instead of posting tons and tons of these unhaul videos, I'm gonna show you what I picked out this week to get rid of and then not post it yet, but then once I have another stack of stuff, I will make the second part of this video and then put it just all in one video and post it. Or maybe I'll even do three unhauls into the video. Just that way for, you know, making it uh, more exciting, I guess, because it's not always a ton of stuff, but I did get inspired yet again this week to go through a few things and get rid of more stuff. So let's get into it. Firstly is my daughter's snowsuit. The ground is fully clear now. We're not going to be getting enough snow for her to play in this again. It's kind of sad to see it go. She didn't get to wear it very much, but once the snow is gone, you really don't need it anymore. Um, a lot of this, gosh dang, my lighting is, I'm just having problems here. Um, a lot of this is baby clothes. I re-went through Aaliyah's keepsakes and I just realized we really don't need to keep this much. Um, when I had gone through it the last time, I knew I was feeling a little too sentimental and that I probably kept too much. This outfit is seriously the cutest. I have a little video of her dancing in it and oh my gosh, my heart. She's the sweetest thing. And that's partially why I kept it because I just always think of that day she was dancing in this outfit and Ryan was playing guitar. This is seriously going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sure this is getting annoying already. But anyways, I just think of that time that he was playing guitar and she was dancing around in that little outfit and it just makes me so sad to get rid of it. And then like this outfit she wore on her first Thanksgiving, it was like a three piece outfit and she was just the cutest little thing, oh my gosh. I just loved, loved my little baby and now she's so big and I still love her of course so much but she was just so tiny and now she's such a big kid and so independent and she doesn't need me the way she used to. But that's okay, it's good for her to be independent. These are actually shorts that were mine back in the 90s and Leah wore them a couple times but I was like, I don't need to save these. There's no way she's going to want to put these on her kid someday. Which is, I don't even understand why that happens. Anyways, which is why I'm saving her baby clothes in the first place. Is so, you know, when she gets older, like maybe she'll want to have her kid wear her stuff. Like she's worn a few of my things. And I have a couple dresses for her to wear once she gets bigger that were mine. Anyways, I'm sorry. This part's getting really long. Just me showing you baby clothes. And then baby blanket. It's got elephants on it. And I can't remember if I showed you these ones, but these ones were also adorable. I'm pretty sure these are the pajamas she was wearing when she said her first word, which was Dada. Of course, he's her favorite. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And then also all the clothes were in this bag, which the bag itself is super cute. It has the little Peanuts characters and she really likes this bag. And when she saw it sitting on the table the other day, she started being like, oh, it's Snoopy, blah, blah, blah. And then I felt bad for getting rid of it. So... There's a slight chance I'll keep the bag, but I'm planning to get rid of it because we have enough bags. I went through kind of my like stationary type stuff and I've always kept these cards or at least I've had them for like over a year and I was like, I'm never going to send out cards. So these are going, I have these things. I think they're like my mom's. I don't know how well you guys can see them, but they're just like little scrapbooking things. They're like sand castles and pails and they're super cute, but I don't scrapbook. So they were just like in my art supplies as well as these little hair barrette things that we used at our wedding to make yellow bows for all the girls to wear. Um, a lot of Sharpies. Sharpies were kind of a big deal in my teen years. We used to like draw on everything. I used to have these pair of jeans that literally like all my friends and everybody had like written on and I had shirts that were written on and I used to write on my counter in my room uh, at my parents' house with like they were fine with it. Um, and it's still there actually, it's really weird. Uh, Anyways, that's getting me off path. But anyway, Sharpies used to be a big deal, but I realized I do not need all these Sharpies. So I also downsized our pens and pencils. I had saved far too many. Again, just thinking, oh, we'll never need to buy them, but uh, we just don't need that many. So out they go, as well as a few random markers that didn't really go with the set of markers we have. My big measuring cup. I had a hard debate on whether or not to get rid of this, but I have a two cup measuring cup I use far more often than this one. So I'm keeping that one, getting rid of this one. So it's just a towel. It doesn't work very well. I feel like it's not that absorbent. So I kept one just because I really like the design, but I was like, it's not a great towel. So I'm not keeping both of those. This was an apple juice container. Ali has been playing with it in the tub, but it's just taking up space. So he's going a couple of hair ties that aren't so great anymore. A ring that says, be happy, be healthy. It just doesn't fit me very well anymore. This little thing, it's been holding stuff in our bathroom, but I realized it was more so just taking up space than being helpful. Here's an 
apple specialist cup because my husband's an apple specialist. He's kind of a genius. Um, then this is a little clip tie thing we don't use. An extra whisk. I just don't like the rubber ones as much. I keep it because it's better for the type of pots I have, but I was like, I like my other whisk better, so I'm keeping that one, and I'll just be careful with my pots. I have this ladle. I just don't use it enough to keep it. I'm sorry. I've been looking at myself, not where I should be looking. I'm really sorry. I'm a terrible YouTuber today. Anyways, ladle. Don't need it. Going. Little magnet. Don't need it. Going. Giant fork. Don't need it. Going. I feel like maybe people use these for salads, like with a spoon, or maybe to stab meat, which we don't eat. So I don't need a giant fork. A couple of straws, which now I'm kind of debating keeping because my kid chewed up one of them. So we might need these. So this might not be an unhaul. Still debating. These are a couple of little Play-Doh things that she just doesn't seem to play with these ones. So I figured it would keep the drawer cleaned up if we didn't keep the extra toy she doesn't play with. Kind of cool. And then last and sadly least is this Christmas plate. And I love this plate, but I, I just keep looking at it in my cupboards and I'm like, you've only used this thing like three times. And I have used it, not just at Christmas time. I think it's pretty and I think it's cute. Isn't it cute, guys? Am I crazy? Is it not cute? And I kind of just felt like, I guess I feel like an adult for having an actual Christmas plate and that makes me feel cool. <sighs> like even looking at it, this like brings me so much joy and that's what they say you should keep. But if I don't use it, why does it matter if it brings me joy? So this is going. I'm pretty sure. I'm 90% sure this is going. Unless I talk myself out of it. Anyways, guys, I feel like I got really hyper for this. And I'm trying to get it done quickly because my daughter's sleeping. And I I don't know. This is hectic. And it's only the first part of this video. And it's getting so long. And I'm sorry that this is crazy. And that I'm crazy. Uh, this is getting embarrassing. I probably shouldn't post this video. But I'm going to. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And um... Now you wait for my next unhaul. That'll be connected to this one. And finally, time for the second haul. Okay, so I finally have collected enough things to do the second part of this. It took me a little while longer this time because I wasn't like overly inspired like the last time, but I've just slowly found things around the house and gone through things and I now have enough to do the second part of the unhaul, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna make this a three part one because the first half already kind of got long and I'm gonna try to get this done quickly. I did quickly want to do a disclaimer to friends and family who may find this video. Um, it is nothing personal if I get rid of something you gave to us or to Aaliyah. We just are minimalists now and we're just trying to keep things we truly need. We really appreciate everything we've ever been given in life, but there just comes a time where we don't necessarily need everything and I promise you it is nothing personal to anyone who may see this. Disclaimer over. I know I already did that disclaimer in another video, but I just keep worrying like as I'm finding things like that people are gonna like be like, oh, they just don't like me. They got rid of my stuff, but I promise that's not it. We just had too much stuff. Anyways, let's get going with this guys. This haul is mostly clothes and kitchen stuff. First, I have a stack of my clothing that I'm getting rid of. Randomest item here. This is just a hood to a jacket, but I never put the hood on, so I'm getting rid of it. And it's one of those weird items, it's like, do you donate this? Because it goes to a specific jacket, like, but it's in perfect condition. So that's sad. I don't know. I still got to figure out what to do with that. Um, this is kind of a sentimental item. This was my Ichiro shirt. Big Mariners fan as a kid, but I don't watch baseball ever anymore, so whatever. I took some cute pictures of Aaliyah in it, though, and she's adorable. Inlet was Ryan's band's original name, but they are no longer Inlet. That didn't last long, and I finally was just like... If I'm gonna wear one of your band shirts, I'm gonna wear the current one that says Pastel Motel. So that's going out. This is a cute tank top that I really liked, but I weigh more now, so it just doesn't fit well. So it's sad because I really liked it, but that's going. Another tank top going. It's one of those cool baseball shirts. I have this idea of myself wearing these, but I never do. So I finally just convinced myself, you need to get rid of this. Then I have this long sleeve gray shirt. I literally had three long sleeve gray shirts at one point. I already got rid of one. And then I just decided to get rid of this one and only keep one long sleeve gray shirt because I just don't need two. And then lastly for me, I think, is this black sweater. This was another kind of hard to bake because I do like it, but I just, again, I had two black sweaters. They're really different, but I just didn't need two. So I'm finally getting rid of that one. Then moving on to Aaliyah's things. Um, a lot of this I'm just getting rid of because she's getting bigger right now and she's outgrowing a lot of her stuff. These are all just pants that she doesn't really wear. Um, 
than a pair of pajamas, which these do actually fit her and they are cute, but she just has so many pairs of pajamas. And honestly, she hates wearing pajamas. Like most of the time she'll wear them for like 15 minutes to an hour and then, then she's in her diaper. As you guys have seen, she's in her diaper. <laughs> and so many of my videos, which I know some people got a little offended by, but she's just a toddler who doesn't like clothes. What can I do? Um, anyways, this is her adorable Christmas sweater that I love so much. Oh my gosh, it's like the cutest thing. She wore it a lot this winter, but it's just too small on her now and it won't, so it, she won't be able to wear it next year. Um, this mini shirt again, too small on her now. This is a little hat again, too small. Sorry, I'm getting repetitive. Um, some tights. She's had a lot of tights, but honestly, I don't really put her in tights. They're kind of uncomfortable and not safe if she's not wearing shoes because they're super slippery. These are a pair of pants that she honestly doesn't even fit into yet, but I ruined them. She wore them and then I got a stain on them. Like there's white spots. You probably can't see them, but oh yeah, you can a little bit. Uh, this towel. I got rid of the other one in the first part of this video and uh, I kept it because I do think they're really cute, but like I said in the first video, they just don't dry well, so why am I keeping it? I have this box that I've actually been putting things in to get rid of, but we just don't need it anymore as we become more and more minimal. We just don't need as many things to store things in, so that's gonna go. And I have a little stack of kids' books. I know I said I was done getting rid of books, but then I decided to get rid of these ones. I have two pieces of jewelry I'm getting rid of, and it makes me a little sad because I do like both of them. My sister who gave me this is maybe gonna not be happy I'm getting rid of it, but <laughs> um, this is a little acorn necklace and we have an acorn thing, but uh, I just don't wear jewelry. I honestly, all I wear is my wedding ring and I don't really like jewelry. I also have this mood ring. Slip it on. Oh, I'm green right now, I guess. Um, <laughs> I always like the idea of wearing a mood ring. I guess the kind of hippie part of me is like, that's tight, man. Tight is not a hippie word. Um, it's groovy, man. Uh, <laughs> but I just, again, I don't wear jewelry, so I'm getting rid of it. Ryan recently went through our video games, both Nintendo 64 and his PlayStation games. So there's three games here. And these either don't work or he doesn't play them. So those are going. A couple of little keychain things. I used to have a keychain collection, and this was the only one I saved, but then I was like, why am I saving it? I really don't need it. And this one my sister gave to me, actually, but again, I just... Sorry, Emily. I just don't need keychains. It's nothing personal. I still love you. This is an old journal of mine. I just ripped out the few pages I um, wrote in and I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, there's a little thing stuck in that. That's a little rock, which I guess I'm getting rid of that too. Anyways, I just, as much as I always want to be someone who journals, I just don't do it. So out it goes. This is a cute little bear. Someone at church who was very, very kind and so sweet gave this to Aaliyah on Valentine's Day, but that kid has so many stuffed animals you guys have seen and it was really, really nice of her, but Leah just doesn't need it and she did play with it for a little bit, but because it's not one she's super attached to, that is going. I have this adorable little strainer. I really do like it and I used it for a while, but I'm just, like I've said in previous videos, if I can avoid using a dish, I do. I usually just like will pour something in a bowl, rinse it and dump it out, which maybe that's a bad way to do things, but it works for me. So that's going. I have a couple of really cute decorative plates. It's kind of fun. I'm having fun showing things off. I don't know why today. Uh, anyways, my grandma gave me those and I've always kept them because I thought maybe someday I'll have like a little tea party with Aaliyah and they'd be cute, but you know, it just, it hasn't happened yet. And I guess if she wants to have cute tea parties, I can get dishes later. And she does have a tiny little tea set that I have for her also from my grandma. So those are going. And then I have a couple of these plates I had four of them, but I just don't need four. It's again, one of those things where I keep too many of something. And so now I just have two of those and we have bigger plates. Again, with this, I have two more of these. So I'm just getting rid of one. Same story with this. Ryan actually got me these for Valentine's day one year and it's super cute. I love them, but again, I don't need three. So now I have two. This is something I'm very excited to be getting rid of. Salt and pepper chickers. So story time. I bought these a couple years ago and I didn't open the box when I bought them. And I thought they were gonna be like half the size or at least weight like skinnier. And these things are freaking giant. Like, look at that, they're huge, so huge. So anyways, I just, you know, in the seasoning aisle at the store, they just have like little cardboard ones that you can buy and I refill them. That's what we did before I had those. And that was just so much nicer because they're so much smaller. So anyways, these guys are going and I have those out in the kitchen and I like it a lot better. Okay. This is a sad one, okay. So this was like my favorite coffee mug. I used it all the time. 
but then I got three new coffee mugs for Christmas and I have not used this one since Christmas. The main reason I love this one is the feel of it and I like that it's green inside. But anyways, I finally decided to get rid of it because I do have my newer ones that I really love. Another thing from a sister. I've literally gotten rid of something from each of my sisters and I'm sorry to all of you. <sighs> I feel like I sound like that guy from Parks and Rec, that like really crazy guy who's on the last few seasons. I can't think of his name. But if you've watched Parks and Rec, you probably know who I'm talking about. Anyways, this is just a vase. So that's, don't need it. Um, one of Aaliyah's cups that I do smoothies in. She just doesn't need two of them. Empty jar. Two glasses. Um, again, this is one of those things we had four. We hardly ever use our glasses, so two are going. We'll keep two. We can always wash them. We have other cups, so uh, this is like a little thing to help organize stuff. I had it in the cupboard for a while, decided I didn't like it, so now it's going. I actually got it from my mother-in-law because she was getting rid of them, and she was like, well, try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, so it didn't work out. So I do have one still in the cupboard that's working out better, but that one was just kind of making it feel more crowded than anything. <laughs> uh, tennis ball. We have a lot of these. This one's going. And last, I don't know why I'm singing. Last is this cute little fan. I bought this a couple years ago because I always got really hot in the kitchen. So it like, I would like put it on the kitchen counter for while I was cooking or whatever. And it was nice, but we have central air currently and I was keeping it because I was thinking, what if the next place we move to doesn't have central air and I'll want it again. But honestly, I could buy another one if I really need it, but most likely I won't need it. We have a bigger fan. So that's the end of the end haul, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm hoping I didn't have anything else in the room to get rid of. I guess if I did, it's not that big of a deal. I just think it's kind of fun to show you guys like what I'm finding as I go through my house. It's kind of crazy because we've been doing this for a few months now and there just keeps being more stuff. It's insane. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Leave your thoughts down below. Let me know if you want me to keep doing unhauls as I find stuff to get rid of. Or if it's like enough already, like quit making these videos. Nobody cares what you're getting rid of. I kind of think it's fun to like share with you guys why I'm getting rid of stuff. I guess I just think maybe it'll help someone to be able to detach from something. Or maybe to realize like, oh, I don't need 10 of that thing. Like, because I feel like that's kind of hard for us to accept. Like sometimes we keep a set because it's like, well, it's not taking up that much more space. But it's like, but if you don't need it, it's just taking up space. And like, it's just that many more things to move when you move. And I don't know. I just like having less of everything. I like having my cupboards emptied out. But you keep however many cups and bowls and plates and whatever that you want. Like, do minimalism your way. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I had fun doing it. And now I'm going to go edit it. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. I kind of just can't believe that there's still this much stuff to get rid of after everything we have already gotten rid of. It's crazy.